of the circus. For Jerry of the Circus. The old oaken bucket, the iron bound bucket, the moss covered bucket that hung in the well. <laughs> well, Jerry, I didn't know you were a singer, too. I'm not. I, I can't sing. <laughs> no, I don't know about that. Sounds pretty fair to me. <laughs> or maybe it's because I like to hear folks sing while they're working. You know, that means they're happy at their work. Well, I'm sure happy at my work, all right. Oh, that's the ticket, Jerry. I like to hear that. Uh, you'll go a lot further being happy as you go along. <laughs> you getting tired of lugging those pails yet? No, I don't mind. I, I'm getting used to it. Good. <laughs> and there's no complaints about your work, either. You're as good a boy that's ever worked for me. You mean it, Whitey? You sure do. And I especially like the way you handled yourself at the fire last night. You're a bright boy, and you go far in this business. Boy, these horses are sure thirsty this morning, Whitey. Oh, I don't know. They just seem that way to you, I guess. Well, you've only got a couple more to water anyway, and then you're through. I guess that mare is next down there in the false star. That's right. And then Splendor and Lady, and that takes care of all of them. Careful of those stakes, Jerry. Don't trip. Watch yourself. I I'm watching. Ah. Hey there. Oh. Did you hurt yourself? No, I'm all right. All right. Say, you're all wet. What were you trying to do, Jerry? Nothing. Uh, well, I don't know. I mean, well, I didn't see that stake sticking out of the ground. <laughs> no, I guess not. <laughs> I've been watching you, and your mind sure have been a long ways off. You better go change. You're soaking wet. No, I'm all right. Kind of clumsy, though, wasn't I? Now, you go on and change. Listen, you'll still have time to watch that clown rehearse your dog. Uh, how do you know what I was thinking about? <laughs> now, well, when I see a boy with that faraway look in his eyes watering horses, and... That boy has a dog, and that dog is being rehearsed for a big act in a big circus, and, well, I'm just a mind reader, that's all. Now go on and get some dry clothes. Uh, I'll dry out soon enough, and besides, uh, well, I I left my things with that landlady back in Midvale. Hmm, well, I can guess the rest. <laughs> well, I guess we all go through that sort of thing now and then. Okay, kid, hurry up and finish. There's not much more for you to do, and then you can beat it. Stay out in the sun long enough to dry off, though. Okay, Whitey. Say it. Pretty lucky having another tent we could use right away for the horses. That fire last night didn't leave much of the old one except ashes. Well, the circus always has to be prepared for every emergency. We carry extra canvas just in case. And then when we use it, we wire back to winter quarters, and they send on some more to the next stop. And that way, you see, we're always sure of shelter for the animals. Golly, you sure do things right in the circus, huh? Well, see you later. Hello there, Splendor. How you feeling this morning after the fire last night, huh? You're sure a grand little horse. Listen, I, I got to hurry on on account of I got a friend rehearsing and I want to watch him. Yes, sir, and, and when you grow up, I'll, I'll watch you too. Listen, Splendor, I, I got a hunch about you and me. We're going places in this circus business, and don't you forget it. We may not be very big yet, but we'll get there. You just wait and see. He's seeing you. The old oaken bucket, the iron bond bucket, 
the moss-covered bucket that hung in the well. Gee, Bumpus, you're right. These buckets do get kind of heavy. That hung in the well. <laughs> it's the last bucket, the last bucket. Uh, here you are, lady. Take it easy now. Kind of thirsty, aren't you, lady? Well, you're the last one today, but tomorrow I'll serve you first. What you say? No, sir, I'm not doing, going to play any favorites around here, okay? That's a girl. See you later. Whitey, can I go now? Yeah, but when Rags is through rehearsing, be sure you get out in the sun. Sure thing. Bye. Where are you going so fast, honey? Uh, over to the main tent. Yeah, you got plenty of time. It'll be up all day. Yeah, but, but I want to catch a rehearsal. Hello, Patsy. They through yet? Almost. I just came outside to see if you were going to get there in time. How's Rags doing? Swell, Jerry. Oh, if that dog were mine, I'd certainly be proud of him. You think I'm not? Shh. Don't let them hear you. We'll slip inside this entrance. Look. Look. Easy. Easy there, Rags. Shh. No. No. Hip. Go. Hey, he's never done a double somersault before. Pumps will teach him to do lots of things he's never done before. Oh, Patsy, look at him. And he loves it. That dog's a natural, Jerry. To jump right up on Bump's shoulder from a standstill is no mean trick. All right, Rags. Now, just once more. Hip. Hip. Oh, he's done that before. But that funny little somersault across Bump's back to the other shoulder, and then the double somersault to the ground. Boy, that's something. Uh, uh, good dog, Rags. That's enough for today. <laughs> well, well, you're a glutton for punishment, I'll say that for you. Hi there, Rags. <laughs> well, uh, hello there, Jerry. And Patsy, too. Hi, Bumps. I didn't see you come in. Well, what do you think of our dog? Our dog? Why, sure. Say, this dog belongs to the circus now. Hmm. Jerry just thinks Rags belongs to him. Oh, what? Well, what do you mean? Why, sure. He's part of the show now. Say, listen, all you can do now is to feed him and see that he gets his beauty sleep. Oh, say, well, I, I don't know that I want him to be in the circus. Well, I thought... <laughs> don't let Bumps tease you, Jerry. <laughs> Look at the way that dog is looking at you. Do you think anyone could ever take that dog away from you? <laughs> Just let them try. <laughs> Why, Jerry, you're all wet. Yeah, I... Well, I, I spilled some water. Well, I should say you did. You run along out in the sunshine and get dried off. Oh, Rags needs some fresh air, too. So run along now. I'll be back at the wagon. You come on over when you get dry. Okay. Uh, Want to come, Patsy? Sorry, I've got work to do. <laughs> she certainly has. Oh, I watched you rehearse the other morning, Patsy, and that new number of yours is going to be a knockout when you get it perfected. Golly, you sure have to keep working in this business, don't you? Well, if you want to get anywhere in it, you do. Oh, uh, what kind of a trick are you practicing on, Patsy? Oh, just a little trick I figured out myself. I haven't named it yet. I... I don't know what you'd call it, but but it's like a double back over with a half turn in, in midair. Gee whiz, that's your sound scheme. Mm -hmm. uh, when are you going to practice it? Well, I was just going up high and practice it now. Gee, can I watch you? Sure you can. But remember, Bums told you to get out in the sun so you can dry off those wet clothes. Oh, I, I'm nearly dry already, and besides, it's warm in here, and, and I won't catch cold. Let me stay and watch. Okay, Jerry. Here I go. Gee, Rags, look at her climb up that ladder. Look, Rags, up there, see? See, Patsy? See how high she's going? Hey, hey, Jerry, I thought I told you to get dried off out in the sun. Aw, oh, gee, Bumps, I, I want to see Patsy do her new trick just once, please. Well, well, you better look quick, then. There she goes now. Wow, look at that. Golly, Bumps, she just spins in midair while the trapeze swings away from her and then back again. Oh, oh, that Patsy's a clever girl. Sometimes I wonder how she does it myself. Did she ever miss and fall? Oh, sure, lots of times, but she always hits the net pretty. What do you mean? Well, you gotta hit that safety net just right, you see. You gotta land on your back or else... Or, uh, or else what? Well, well, you'll get hurt. What if you happen to fall head first? Well, sometimes that causes a broken neck or back. Gee whiz, 
That is dangerous. Mm, well, it's quite a trick. You've got to twist your body while you're falling so that you land in the net on your back. <laughs> hey, look, look. Now, there she goes again. Jiminy, that's a great trick, all right. It's beautiful, Patsy. Are you going to try the thing? Oh, gee. Oh, 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 you spoke look too Patsy. soon that time, Jerry. Oh, 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 oh Patsy. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Say, did you see how she took that fall? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wow, that is exciting. Quiet, Rags. She's all right. She's all right, Rags. Uh, well, what'd you do, Patsy? Miss that trapeze? Yeah, but only by a couple of inches. Well, your trouble is your arms aren't long enough, Patsy. <laughs> Gee, she rolled up like a ball, didn't she? Grabbed her knees and landed right on her back. Uh-huh. Well, come on now, Jerry. Let's go over to our wagon and see what we can do about that wet shirt of yours. Oh, I could watch Patsy on that trapeze all day. Uh, bye, Patsy. So long. <laughs> well, as soon as she learns that new trick, she'll put it in her act, and then you'll have plenty of chances to see it. I don't know what's the most thrilling, being an aerialist or, or a lion tamer. Oh, guess it's a toss-up, Jerry. Everything about a circus is thrilling. You know, I even get a thrill out of being just a clown, and after all these years, too. Look, Bumps, here comes Lorenz. Hmm? Oh, so it is. Well, hello, Lorenz. Nice day, huh? What's nice about it? Oh, oh, I don't know. Maybe, <clears throat> maybe it's the weather. Well, well, here's our wagon. Decker, Decker, you ready? Hurry up! It's late. Uh, coming. All set, Lorenz. Hello, Bumps, Jerry. Hmm. My old friend Rag. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, Decker, I'm in a hurry. Okay. So long, folks. Bye. Well, what's your hurry, boy? Well, we we're uh... just going into town. What's it to you? Oh, oh, nothing. Oh, nothing at all. Well, so long. Lucky we saw Bumps and that kid then. Why? It gives us a good alibi, stupid. Now they think we are going to town. Oh. I use my head. <laughs> the man's no dummy. Now listen, Decker. Yes? I just filed the office wagon lock. It's all clear. Bennett will be coming with the payroll money any minute now. Have you got that gun? Yes, right in my hip pocket. But do we really have to plant this thing on Jason, Lorenz? I have gone into that before. Now shut up. It's all set. Bumps and that kid think we are going into town. Bennett is on the way with the money. The office wagon is open. Everything is working out just right. Wait, you see, we will be rich yet. 